Hey everybody, this is Louis Schroeder, photographer here in New Jersey. And today I'm going to be going over my Instagram feed and the photos I have been posting there. What I've been doing since uh, the start of uh, 2023 in ja early January, I've been posting one photo a day from my archives. I've been going through my photos, uh, my wedding photos, uh, trying to find uh, uh, interesting photos to post on Instagram. And here on YouTube, I'm now going to go over what I've posted so far. And I'm going to talk a little bit about each photo and why I took them, um, how I took them, and other thoughts about each one of them. So there's a, a, over 20 there right now. And if you're not on Instagram or if you're on Instagram, uh, please follow me over there and you'll be able to see uh, every day as I post new images. This series is going to go on for a few months at least. Uh, so there's a lot still to come. So make sure you follow me on Schroeder Photog on Instagram. Hit the follow button right there. And then once you see these photos and you go through them there, make sure you like them if you do like them indeed. All right? So, um, and here on YouTube, make sure you also follow me if you already don't. And like the video because all that liking, all that subscribing helps to... Uh, uh, get the channel out there in these companies' uh, algorithm. All right, so let's get right to it. Starting with the first photo I posted, I'm going to work my way up all the way to the most recent, which is this one right here. So let's get started right now. And this is the first photo uh, I picked. Um, kind of picked it randomly, really. Uh, it was from a recent wedding uh, in December of 2022. And it was from that point on that I said, okay, you know what, let me go through my archives of wedding photography and post them here on Instagram. And this was the first one. And um, now this effect that you see on the screen, it's, it's an in-camera effect. It's not something that I do later in Photoshop or use a filter. This is all manipulated in the camera with my hands basically um, it's a combination of the technique uh, where I um, do a quick zoom with the lens and also uh, I have a flash and the camera itself set at certain settings to enable this look to happen so it's basically three or four things happening at the same time. And I like to use this uh, technique for some photos at events, um, especially with bands, DJs, and some dancing stuff. Um, so some at some point in the evening, I will um, do this, and I will also do photos like this of the bride, the groom, and guests dancing. It just adds action to the photo. Uh, it adds action. Um, it makes, like this photo, for example, was in a small room. It was kind of empty at the time. The night was just starting. And um, uh, if I just took a straight photo of him playing, it was not going to be that interesting. So I did this, and I think it fills up the image. It gives it color. It gives it movement, um, and uh, it just it just makes it a, a better photograph. So, so that's what I did here. Let's go to the next one. And this photo is actually from that wedding. This was uh, later in the evening. And by the way, the, the the saxophone player he was in a different room. It was a weird layout in the place. It's kind of like a, a room off to the side, you know, you're sitting at tables, you, could, you can't even see him. So another reason why I needed to do that with that photo. Uh, so anyway, so this photo here is of the bride a little bit later in the evening during the uh, toast. Uh, I was focused on her, but also watching everything else that was happening. And then the person doing the toast said something. Uh, kind of funny that made her smile in this way here and I took this photo next one okay this is a totally different wedding and 
in this particular wedding, uh, I I had, remember the day before I was like, oh, maybe I should um, try to do a group photo where they try to reenact an album cover. You know, because like, yeah, weddings, when you do a lot of them, you got to try to come up with some new ideas so it doesn't get too repetitive uh, for you and especially especially for you the photographer um, you want to you want to you want to always have new ideas and do different things so the idea I had on this day was and again this isn't the only group shot I took of them this is one shot I took of them among many and it's it's in that moment that I wanted to do something different. And um, in this case here, I basically showed them a photo. I showed the guys in the wedding party a photo of um, of the uh, of the photo of an old album that I thought was kind of cool. The album cover had exactly uh, six guys on them, and they were doing a pose very similar to this. And I showed them the photo and I said, can you guys do this? And they did. And they went right into it. They, they thought it was kind of funny, had a good time with it. And, um, and they did a pretty good job. Like each one of them is in a, uh, you know, have a good expression and, uh, and they didn't, you know, they did the pose fairly accurate to what, uh, is on the album and you may ask what album is it and it's a band called madness from the early 80s and i don't remember the name of the uh of the album right now but if you look up uh madness and um and put album covers i'm sure this one will be um one of the first ones to appear and actually the uh, the title of the album is one step beyond so that's what i did in this photo here next one let's go to the next one okay this is a get getting ready photo that little part of the day early on where things are just starting for the photographer and then many times for everybody involved at the wedding but especially for the photographer I usually arrive there somewhere in the middle of the uh, getting ready phase. And um, there's a lot, you know, you, you can take a lot of the same photos at a getting ready, you know, because people are sitting down, getting their hair done, their makeup done. And, um, you know, it can, it can uh, get repetitive if, if, again, you don't, try to catch angles and moments that are um, different or unique. And this was one of them. I, I was uh, just basically aiming at the bride. And then this happened. They gave her a mirror to look through, and the mirror happened to have this smile-shaped opening and um, I saw it and I'm like, okay, makes sense. Let's take this one and bam. And that's how this shot happened. So you got to look for unique opportunities in, at every moment at a wedding. Next one. Here's another getting ready photo. And this one, what happens is usually after the moment where they get their hair and make, makeup done, they go into a room to put their dress on. I'm usually not in a room when they um, put the dress on. Um, I'm, I usually tell them that uh, I'll be outside if you need me uh, or when you're ready. Just uh, when you're ready and comfortable, just call me into the room and I will um, photograph you in your dress. And so, uh, so in, this po in this photo, I'm actually outside of the room and the bride's dog is out there with me the room isn't the room isn't locked it's just kind of the door's just kind of um 
you know, not just, it's not closed. It's just half, half almost closed. It's not locked. And, uh, and then the dog decided to go in. And luckily I had the camera like on me and ready. And as soon as he kind of went through like that, the bride happened to be right there in that opening. And I took the photo. So we see a photo here of the dog going in and the bride, you could see her face really well and her in her dress. So that's how this photo happened. You got to be ready at all at every moment. All right. To keep the video a good size, like 10, 11 minutes long, I'm ending this part now and you can click on right over here on my channel for the next part of this um, series. All right. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. That'll help me out and make sure to go on Instagram at Schroeder Photog and follow me there and like the photos there. I would really, really appreciate it. Next part right over here. See you there.